A sample problem from chapter 23rd. A figure shows in cross section a plastic spherical shell with charge with uniform charge caps Q, which is equal to minus 16 E and radius R, which is equal to 10 centimeter. A particle with small Q, which is equal to plus 5 E is at the center. And what is the electric field? You have to calculate both magnitude as well as the direction. So what is the electric field at point P1 at radial distance R1, which is equal to 6 centimeter. And the second question is, what is the electric field at point P2 at radial distance R2, which is equal to 12 centimeters. So you have to see the first figure first. So what is given in the first figure? You see this blue colored line. So the blue color is representing the plastic spherical shell. Inside this plastic spherical shell, you have two charges. One is caps Q and second one is small Q. And this small Q is exactly at the center of the spherical shell. And they mention two location, point P1 as well as point P2. So what you have to do, first you have to make a circle touching point P1. So when you make a circle touching P1, what will happen? That circle will get the radius R1, which takes the value of 6 centimeter. Likewise, after you complete the first part, you have to make a circle and which touching point P2. And by that, from the center to point P2, the distance is 12 centimeter. So you have to find what is the electric field at point P1 and P2. So two questions are given in this question. So let's be answered one by one. And the most important thing, the direction matters here. So let's we just work out with the first part. So first of all, I'm going to consider the point P1. So with respect to point P1, what I'm going to do, so I can draw the diagram here. We have a spherical shell. And this is point P1. And here you have Q here as well as small Q here. So now what you have to do, better I can change the color that will help you a clear idea. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a circle which touching point P1. So what will happen when you make a circle, what will happen? It will come like this, right? So what is the radial distance from charge Q, small Q? So this is your R1 value. What is this R1 value? So R1 value is 6 centimeter. So likewise, you have to do the same thing for the second part. So now you have to see the circle. Inside this circle, which, you touch, which is touching the P1, only one charge is inside this circle. Am I right? Which charge? The small Q is there. That means you should not consider the caps Q. Because with respect to the circle, only one charge is exactly sitting inside the circle. So we have to find the electric field only for this charge. So let's we apply the rule. What is the rule? E equal to K Q over R square. So here R is R square is nothing but let's we take this is R1 square. And the value of R1 is given here. What is the value of R1? The value of R1 is 60 sorry 6 centimeter so in terms of meter 6 multiplied 10 power minus 2 meter and also the charge value is given what is the value of small charge the value of the small charge is plus 5e so that means the value of small charge is 5e actually this is our first question clear so now i am going to i am solving the first part now what i am going to do i am going to substitute the value here so the K takes the value of 8.99 multiply 10 power plus 9, right? And the value of the charge is 5E. So 5 multiplied by the value of the charge 1.6 because this is plus charge plus 5E. So 5 multiplied 10 to the power of, sorry, 5 multiplied by 1.6 multiplied 10 to the power of minus 19 over we have R1 square, which is 6 multiplied 10 to the power of minus 2, the whole square. So let's we see what is the answer for the first part. 8.99, 10 power 9, multiply 5, multiply 1.6, 10 to the power of minus 19, over 6, 10 to the power of minus 2, whole square. 
I got the answer here as 1.997 multiply 10 to the power of minus 6. Better, we can round it this value because when you just round it this value, you will get the answer here as 2.0 multiply 10 power minus 6 and the unit for the electric field is Newton per coulomb. So this is the answer for the first part. Clear? So the first part has no issue because only small circle inside that small circle with respect to the radius r1 we have only one charge but now the second part we have to go for that so when you just go for the second part you have to be very careful so we have to draw the diagram again so what is given in the diagram you have a spherical shell right you have a spherical shell actually this is not a perfect sphere but please consider okay so you have the spherical shell and here we have q and here we have small q and two location because p1 we already calculate so now because p1 is here right p1 we already complete but now this time we have to consider p2 so now what i have to do i have to draw the circle for p2 so so this is our circle touching the point so we are going to find what is the electric field at a point p2 from the center so now in this circle how many charges are sitting two charges comes into this circle so in this case you have to consider both and from the center to this point which point to this point p2 that value is r2 and that r2 value already gave in this question as 12 centimeter clear so first of all we have to find what is the charge so the charge enclosed in this circle what are the charges enclosed in this enclosed in this circle q as well as small q so that means the charge enclosed this is our b part so the charge enclosed in this circle is q plus small q right and both values are given what is the value of plus uh, the caps q the value of the caps q is already given in the question as minus 16 e and the small q is 5 e so i have to substitute that value here so the value of big q that is caps q is minus 16 e and the small q is plus 5 e so here we have to subtract minus 16 plus 5 gives the answer of minus 11 e charge so when you are just going for substituting the value in this rule which rule we studied already the rule for electric field due to a point charge e which is equal to k q over here q is nothing but the q enclosed so q over r2 square so now in this place what i am going to do i am going to substitute the value so 8.99 multiply 10 to the power of plus 9 multiply and here we have minus so minus 11 multiply with 1.6 multiply 10 to the power of minus 19 over and here 12 multiply 10 to the power of minus 2 the whole square that's very very important and the most important thing here we will get the answer in terms of negative but the most important thing you have to see the point you have to see the figure which figure there is third figure right so the third figure is related with part b so you have to see here so this is our third figure so we draw the diagram of this one so because we have to find both magnitude and directions so in the first part we find the magnitude magnitude as 2.0 multiply 10 to the power of minus 6 but what is the direction for the first part you have to see here so in the first part we have the answer because here the da vector this is for r1 so here da vector and the electric field are exactly in the same direction so by that the theta is zero so cosine zero e dot da cosine theta is here is zero so you get a positive value here you have positive value but what is the direction in the third in the second part your electric field because this is a negative charge so what is our enclosed charge here our enclosed charge is negative that means the negative charge is sitting in, in, in into the circle so the with respect to r2 uh, radial distance we have 
the charge minus 11 e that means it's a negative so here the negative means the electric field with the electric field lines for the negative charge will be radially inward direction so by that what will happen you have to see this see this arrow mark the electric field is inward direction because here the enclosed charge is negative negative of 11 after you add this uh, minus 16 minus 16 right we have to go back uh, minus 16 e plus 5 e the final answer is minus that means the negative charge right so that means the electric field is in this direction and your electric the the area vector is in this direction so here we will get the angle of 180 degree right so 180 cosine of 180 degree gives you negative so for that i have to put one more negative so actually this negative is for the direction so this negative multiplied by this negative will give the positive answer. So what is the answer, final answer for this question? So we have to substitute 8.99 10 power 9 multiply my 11 multiply 1.6 10 to the power of minus 19 over 12 10 to the power of minus 2, the whole square. Here I got the answer as 1.2. 0, 9, 8, 10 to the power of minus 6 newton per coulomb. Clear? So this is the answer for the second part. If you want to round out this value, no problem. 1.1 multiply 10 to the power of minus sorry min, minus 6, not 16. So I will erase this. This is minus 6. So this is the answer for the second part. So the most important thing you have to draw that actually the diagram is already given but i have to draw one more time because i can't use this diagram I, I can't move up and down that's the reason i draw the diagram actually the question itself they gave the diagram so you can use the diagram what is given in the question no problem so but the most important thing this negative this negative is related with the electric field for the negative charge so electric field for the negative charge will be going inward direction and the area vector is in this direction so the angle is negative the 180 degrees so cosine of 180 becomes negative one that's the reason the negative i have to substitute this negative is for the charge it will be inward direction here we have positive charge why because that is positive charge that's the reason the electric field is outward direction see the second figure because this is one of the positive charge you have so that electric field is radially outward direction understand so this will be the answer for the second part so that's it thank you